Ooh. I look fucking terrible right now. <laughs> look how fucking I mean, gross I look. Some, dude, I mean, you look <laughs> disgusting. I cannot lie. You look horrible. <laughs> Oh shit, dude, your glasses are all fucked up. Oh no, that's just. <laughs> now they're fucked up. No, they... dude, that's just your head shape, I guess. Hey! hey! Hello, everyone. Today is a very special video, and I can tell it's gonna be a great video because your phone went off at the very <laughs> beginning of the video. I don't care, I'm gonna keep going. All right. Today. Um, me and my brother want to make more wrestling reviews because we love wrestling and we want to make more videos together and we thought this would be a great way. And he also saw my amazing smoke sesh review with Solomon. Uh, we it's did actually a, pretty funny, dude. It was an amazing it's video. It's one of my favorite videos ever. And so we thought we could combine that and that's what we're, that's what we're doing here today. We're doing a Absolutely. smoke sesh review of agree. the latest WWE pay-per-view. Uh, no, no Mercy. Mercy. 2017. That 2017. is the year. Re real quick, just what is your perception of the whole thing, and then we'll start going match by match. <clears throat> I mean, I'll give you my straight one out of ten. Right Already? The okay. Of the pay -per -view. That's usually like the climax, but you can yeah, go for it. No, nah, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, what's that called? When you, uh, honeycoat, no, 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 no. Honey dick. Yeah, honey dick. Yeah. Honey You're not going to honey dick. I'm not going to honey dick, y'all. You honey dicking? Match number one. We're just going to go at our own order Enzo. here. First off, we obviously want to talk about Enzo versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. This, um... Okay, okay, let's get into it. Awful match. I do like the outcome. It shakes up the Cruiserweight division. See, that's everyone else's reaction. Because a lot of people I don't like him. Enzo right now. No, I'm a and big fan of him. Enzo. I'm, I'm for Enzo too, actually. Very charismatic. Like, I don't care what Who he does cares? backstage. Because in the ring, every time, he's entertaining. He's yeah. And that's so, all you gotta do. I mean, much more than Neville, to be honest. His, and heel, his heel turn has grown quite stale. It's I been see a minute. This face turn, I don't know about it, though, because... I it's mean that that like, goes into raw. How how do you Yeah, but that goes How do you turn a man who's been sitting here saying the most horrible things, <laughs> doing the most horrible With things. With the savage like Yeah, looking now. like a straight battle elf out of <laughs> like dungeon and I mean I just try to it looks really about. basic though. Like I'm not gonna say like a wood elf or something, like something from like the Elder Scrolls. He looks like a very basic <laughs> elf thing, you know? <laughs> very, very ugly Nordic feel to him. But if I had to rate that match, we're gonna rate each match also. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, sh fuck it. Why not? I'd throw that match as a one out of ten, dude. One okay. out of ten. Seriously, Why? I'm lowballing today, bro. Because I mean, they gotta cut the bullshit. There's not that much. They have to cut the. This picture. is not the match no. to talk shit about. There are the bad. That's the. Fe that's the next. Well, wait till you. Wait till I get to the other ones, man. All right. Well, They're this all match low. There's was not like one over this seven. match. I would say There's not over a seven star on this. I would give this match. I'm telling you that right now. I'd give this match a seven star. Um, Enzo is entertaining, like doing his like little. You would sticks. give that one a. Seven? Let me tell you about the ending to this match. Okay, literally, he's about to get counted out, right? And he, right. he talks shit about it to him on the microphone. Right. Lures Enzo out there. Right. And then he grabs the championship belt and runs into the ring. And then the ref right. gets distracted, removing the belt, and that's when he low blows him. Right. He literally, like, used psychology to dis like, to put this guy down. From okay. the outside of the ring. Well. That's a cool ending. He kicked him in the balls. That's and a, he rolled that's him That's a up. pretty easy way. And he rolled him up. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Like, how pathetic is this, man? How do you even get a contract in the WWE if he's, like, having to resort to, like, some John Laurinaitis shit? That's what I like to call it. Some people power bullshit. Some people power bullshit. Or some Michael Cole antics. <laughs> some Let's Michael move Cole on antics. because I'm done with it. I don't want to talk okay, about it. I'm happy that Enzo's a cruiserweight champion. Seven, yes. I just hope they don't book him to be... No, they're Literally. booking him great right now, in all honesty. No, I'm talking about his fucking wrestling. Did you see the ability. promo where he said, like, his I'm wrestling. in the main event right now? I you mean, guys no, never dude, even what are you talking about? Up. You are not listening to me, dude. 
I'm just talking about his wrestling ability, how they're booking him credibility wise. I mean, that's ring. important too. They don't, I'm I saying. mean, he can still cheat, but he doesn't need to roll him up. They hit a finisher after kicking him in the balls, for God's sakes. Yeah, like AJ Like, styles. they're literally making him do some woman shit. Yeah. That's, I mean, not not an offensive way. I'm talking like diva, diva shit. Yeah. They're making him do women. diva shit. Yeah. yeah. Don't make me say that because I'll sound really sexy. Okay, the next match. <laughs> and I, this is my least favorite match Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Dude. All right, off the bat, Balor versus Wyatt is better than no. Neville versus no. Enzo. Yes, it is. Can I Straight. go into this why? Okay, so this match literally happened. The week before the pay per view, they were gonna fight at for no reason, and Bray Wyatt won clean, straight clean against Finn Balor, and then at SummerSlam when they actually fought, he went demon mode, and that proved oh Bray can be normal Finn but just not demon Finn, right? Right. And then they have this random rematch, which is to say if he can do it without the face paint, which it's they've already proven he can't, right? I but mean, now he can. That's what he does in this pay per view. He overcomes. I think it's because they want people to like Finn Balor without that demon persona, and that was like a way of getting him over. And obviously, that was a terrible way to I do mean, it. I mean, yeah, it didn't. It didn't go over. What is as Bray playing. doing right now? No, they were using Bray as they always do. He's a, he's a stepping stone. He automatically became a stepping stone for other people because Finn he Balor so already has won the Universal Championship though. yeah but so. he's not I mean yeah but he needs something to do and look credible doing if he was just fighting cold dust every week on Raw <laughs> I'd be like or I don't give a fuck about this dude yeah. you know but he's fighting Bray Wyatt who's, to waste time I mean yeah but that's cause that's so who what, gives a shit this match already happened like three times I mean yes but I would definitely say the match itself on a wrestling standpoint, was a better match. Okay. Storytelling all aside, it still had a good story because Bray came out and attacked him. And he still, and he still overcame lost. the odds. And he still got buried. I mean, Bray, yes. Bray. And sadly, that is happening. So, but so even when he the cheap storytelling, shots people. All right. Enzo, there's no storytelling in Enzo kicking someone in the balls, really. I mean, besides he, like, sucks. And then it, that that's gonna lead into the future months. Like, I mean, yeah, rivalry. him being a chicken shit. That's well, it. Well, he's fucking interesting. Where, that goes somewhere. Where does this I go? I mean, dude, it's, be, it's shit? still better than that. That's all I have to say. Okay. I'd give it, I'd the give it a solid match. three, three and a half out of ten. <coughs> <coughs> the <coughs> next match. Wait, oh. Oh, do you want to introduce the next match? <coughs> yeah. Okay. In the next match, the Intercontinental Championship match between The Miz and Kurt Angle's bastard child, Jason Jordan. I had to say that just because. Because <laughs> it's a stupid storyline in reality. But I might as well, you know, pretend I'm having fun with it, right? Yeah. Because they ain't going to stop. How do you go back from that? You can't go back from it. Oh, he's not actually his son, and he, like... It was all an elaborate ploy to make Jason Jordan somebody. That makes sense, kind of, but not. No, really they're gonna like, they're gonna keep it. Oh, for sure. And like what? His whole life, he's gonna be Kurt Angle's son. Yeah. Like his real dad can't <laughs> fucking be there at his <laughs> Hall of Fame ceremony because Kurt Angle's there. I mean, the Hall of Fame ceremony breaks kayfabe, so. Oh, it, like yeah. what? How do you explain that to your audience? They're like, oh. They don't Not have to. really, like... How are they going to have Undertaker, like, sitting in a chair, like, smiling? I mean, Undertaker's not real. Like, people aren't that dumb. But, like, when you come out and say somebody's his son, that's a whole other story, bro. Like, the Hornswoggle Vince thing. You know? That's like, you can't go <sighs> okay. back from that. But they did. So, they retracted on it. So, tangent. Said, what did you think of this match between The Miz and Jason Jordan? <laughs> I'd give it... A four. I'd probably give it like a six or a five. I'd give it a four because the Miz and the Miz Taraj are all like entertaining, yeah. even in just doing matches. Um, Miz is. I like, like Bo Dallas and the Miz. Curtis Axel, I could do without. I prefer <laughs> that be like a heel he Slater again or something. Yeah. Because that would be much cooler. Because they're about the same. Actually, I think Heath Slater has more credibility than Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel is a one-time Intercontinental Champion. But, 
He slayed the that tag was a champ. long time ago. Yeah, that was more recent than Curtis Axel has done anything. And he feuded, so like and he feuded with the Wyatts. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Like, <laughs> not very much, but... And you beat, they beat them for the belt. I know, isn't that horrible? The ride. And it was at that exact moment when my microphone broke during this uh, video. I have no idea why the microphone broke, it just kind of decided to break. Thankfully for the rest of the video there is another external microphone on this camera that's you know not terrible so that's that's what we're going to use for the rest of the video but uh, for those wondering why the audio quality shifted a little bit there, uh, that's the reason why. Um, I don't know why it broke, I'm still, I'm trying to see if it's maybe just the wire or the microphone itself, something happened to it, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out, but um, yeah, that's why that is, um, enjoy the rest of the video, I'm completely br blaming my brother for this, by the way, anyway. No, a 42 year old man pretending to be a rhinoceros, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so back onto this match. Um, I I thought it was you know just okay, Miz uh, every week you know she does something entertaining, but this absolutely Miz is Miz Jason is great. Jordan doesn't have a character. Like when he comes out, he literally just walks his stage to random entrance music, like bullshit. Yeah. Like what yeah. is, what well, he doesn't have like a logo or he, anything. I like his suplexes. He's great in the ring. He, he does, does so. He does that was half of this man. match. He just they're they're great. I'll tell you. And then every what time do you mean? What's he Brock screams. Lesnar's match? It was uncomfortable how <laughs> Dude, he screams. Okay. Who does that sound like? You were describing Jordan. Brock Lesnar. No, I'm subscribing. Suplexes. I'm describing Triangle Sun. Horrible screeching. Brock okay, Lesnar and Jason Jordan fine. might as well be the two <laughs> peas in a pod. I'd anyway, love to see him go at it now that I, think I thought it was an okay match. Now push Jason Jordan to the universal title. I'll take suplexes on suplexes. Okay. All day. Anyway, I thought it was an okay match. I just thought uh, Miz just beating Jordan just kind of diminished the point of the rivalry and just makes Jason look bad when it's supposed to make him look good the whole time. Uh, no. Nah. He'll, he'll eventually win it. This is his first pay-per-view singles match ever. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Of course he was gonna lose. I was. I uh, didn't want him to win. I yeah. was rooting for the Miz the entire time. But I don't really care what they do with him because either they're gonna push him or not. But Roman is fighting Miz in the Intercontinental Title match this following Monday after this pay per view has already happened. Yeah. Which I don't know about that. That might. And what's Jason doing? Well, uh, he might get involved. I mean, anyway. I'm assuming so. Their beef isn't them. Anyway. Alright. The next match is only going to be known for the time that Cesaro lost his teeth in the match. But it's, it's between Sheamus and Cesaro versus Rollins and Ambrose. Uh, it's kind of just a yeah, filler rivalry. Repeat, man. I feel like I've seen this so many times. This pay-per-view was a lot of repeats. I've seen Cesaro and Sheamus so many times. Yeah, honestly. They just hear the Hardys. Immediately. Like, give it a, I'll give it a three. They never have, like, a reason for fighting anymore. I'll give it a three, and we'll move on, because, honestly, what, what would you give it? I would give it a five. Maybe a six, just for Cesaro losing his teeth. Just so it's and, not that bad when it yeah. goes down in his mind. And, uh, and the finish was really cool, where they had Sheamus oh. kick Cesaro. And... There's even picture in that, dude. Ugh, he looks so yeah. gawky. And they did, like, this uh, yeah. double team where, you know, Seth does his finisher and then into a yeah. Dirty Deeds. Yeah. Yeah, it was really. It cool. was good. It was a good match. Like it's not. I said, what did I say? Three. Or and four? there. And I it like. Four? And yeah, out of five or ten. At ten, bro. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, out of ten. No, four um, out of five. That's crazy. I've been yeah, I've been lowballing them. Dude. Yeah. I haven't had one over six. You gave this I, one a dang eight or something. A seven. Seven. I give five. it a five or six because uh, Cesaro and um, I like the finish. Yeah. And it like kind of makes the shield Agreeable. reunion next month. I'll get a five. More special. Whatever. I'll give it a five. That's anyway. that's me. No, no, I'm not. I'm giving it a four. Okay, okay fine. Next, we got Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax versus Emma versus Bailey. Because I have to read that on my list. There's some fatal fire in this match. What was the point of making Bailey return 
If she's just gonna get pinned. To have that little small minuscule beef with Sasha leading to one of them turning heel. I'm but that's Sasha. not what they did on Monday. Yeah, but they can't just throw the whole storyline out there on. It just makes and Bailey. Monday, look, it just makes Bailey yet. look terrible. Monday hasn't happened yet. It's the night of. Okay. We'll see. The day after. Whatever. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, but Nia Jax in this match was MVP. I actually thought I mean, she was going to win the match because she took like that one bump where yeah. she like folded up uh, from the power bomb. She was running around all the time. Yeah. I mean, she's always entertaining. But, and then, I mean, I can't. Yeah. Alexis. I, I wouldn't Alexis mind it if it wasn't such hot potato for the Raw Women's and SmackDown Women's title, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, but she's had the belt since, um, like. I think they're trying to build credibility too quick on the titles. Like, put names under the belt, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they're new belts, technically. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like that's why they've been hot potatoing in a lot of them. Because they're technically different belts. Because mm -hmm. there's a Raw tag team and SmackDown tag team. There's never been that. There's been the World tag team and WWE tag team. And then there's WWE World tag team champion. Yeah, but now it's like, what First, happened in a These are new titles. I mean, then what do you mean they have to switch over? Oh, I mean... But you can't have them. That's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. I don't, know. I don't know. They're never going to probably ever draft those champions. Yeah, they just can't. Yeah, they just won't. But it's like, oh, that's pretty easy to avoid. We just won't draft women or tag teams. Yeah. Just okay. singles competitors. Okay. Um, um, so what... I mean, out of it, really, I thought Nia so, Jax was the only thing really noteworthy. Alexa Bliss defended... But, you know, I thought Alexa, Nia was Alexa dope. Alexa Bliss stuff. I thought having Emma in the match was useless. It makes Bailey look bad. Sasha. I honestly like, was thought just Emma there. was going to win because it was so weird that Emma wasn't. I thought Nia was going to win, but, and then I was like, nah, it's probably just going to be Alexa, and she I, I totally like, just won. I thought they were going to try and build another, you know, heel champion besides Alexa Bliss. No, it was just. It was just. And Emma? Alexa again. Yeah, but I, mean, I mean, which isn't bad. Because I don't which want isn't bad. To, I don't want him to hot potato it. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, that's I'm. Fine. This is just gonna lead to her dropping the belt to Oscar in like a month or two. So yeah, I'm okay with it. Maybe I don't know. I uh, think so. She has debut. That's probably why they gave it to Alexa. In all honesty, instead of Bailey, it's just so Oscar could have something. Mm. If not, then you know. I don't know. Good too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's move on. To... But what would you rate that? Oh match? yeah, I'd um, give it like a seven. Uh, okay. I'd say it was the most interesting match. Uh, considering I didn't know who was gonna win, really. Yeah. I could predict all the other ones pretty much. I couldn't predict the next two. Uh, the next I couldn't two... predict the next two. Roman versus John, like, I didn't really care who won the match. It was just the fact that it was happening was a big deal. I wanted John to win the match. I'm not even trying to be a Roman Reigns hater. I just, I thought maybe, I thought John was sticking around a little bit longer. I think maybe. John's character. At least do Survivor Series. I think John's lost I, like, cause too they many matches. Because they could have done a rematch, though. For... Because Roman's supposed to be like the strongest John guy Cena, right though, dude. But Roman's supposed to be the strongest. He can lose as many matches, guy. and he will always be big because hey boy he's done he's a damn what 16 time world champion mm -hmm. exactly but he now he's about to take some time off and he's not gonna do that much <clears throat> he's gonna go do movies bro he's I gonna know. go make a living for his wife bro yeah oh my god so I watched a preview for the Total Divas and mm -hmm. Nikki Bell is complaining about being not being uh, the power of attorney or whatever the fuck that's called. Whenever you uh, oh, yeah. have control of your like loved one's assets and stuff. And he's like, I'm not going to let you be one to ruin my life. I'm just like, damn, John, you're a savage, dude. Like, he's just like, no. It's like, he's just like, I mean, I respect the fuck out of it. Because I was like, what? No, I'd be all for that. You're all for that? If I'm John Cena, hell yeah. Hell no, dude. Why would you let her touch your money? No, I'm saying not to, like, to keep your own... To not do oh yeah, coaching. that's what I'm saying. No, oh, yeah. I mean no, it's not even that. It just means like she has like she can sign off on anything for him, and everything. Like oh no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like super fucking. 
That's my money, your money? Not just that, she could sign him up for goddamn Dancing with the Stars if she wanted to. She can sign contracts for him. She oh, can, sign, well, she can no. sign things for him. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't let her do that. Yeah, crazy. Ever. Insanity. But, back to the match. Uh, it was a great match. Spot fest. Don't like how he kicked out of four attitude adjustments. I always want to call it the FU. Still, to this I day, thought that was too to much. To this day, I was still trying to almost call it the FU. I still call it the FU. I don't know. It's that. I thought... Let's be real. I thought, like, whenever Cena does this move now, it should be a confirmation. <laughs> it should be a confirmation that they're going to lose. Like, he did, like, this... I guess this is his new thing to off fold top, him up with this top, double bro, AA bro. thing. Oh, I know, right? And like, then off the top, like super AA, like what? How strong does Roman need to be to kick it's out? It's got to be the things? best, man. In my opinion, it's, <laughs> he's wearing that bulletproof vest. That thing's got to be doing something because I've never seen anybody kick out of John's a just top taking row. Superman punches the whole match. Like, just just getting rocked and literally Roman. And it ends with this whole respect man. thing. Throw a little something, something they, in there. Like, have Roman, I'm for sorry. God's sakes, do a sidewalk slam or something, for Christ's sakes. They can't They can't do a thing where it's like... A big boo. One week they hate each other, and then at the match, oh, it's like, all oh, it's all respect. Yeah. Like, when it's a week ago, I don't respect you. Yeah, I know. That was kind of stupid. And, I mean, it's like, it was one match. Like, what? Why did John do that for every opponent that's ever beat him? Why do you have to come after AJ Styles' neck like that when he beat yeah. him? He's just like, oh, this guy's this guy's it though. This guy's got the stuff. Like, <laughs> he speared me one time and I was unconscious. <laughs> you know, it's just, it was this dumb out just of the, out of Superman the, punch. Spear. I'd give it a. It's like a button mash. I'd give it a six. A six. A six. Spotty I Festy didn't like it. It wasn't a good match. I love the Spot Festy stuff. I don't. I like I like a good match with spots throughout it. I would give this but like I don't a like high spot, spot, eight. Spot, spot, like. High eight or like a low nine. Dude, this man was throwing his damn attitude adjustment. Did I he, thought... Did he throw... Did, yeah, he busted out a... You can't see me, didn't he? A little flat shuffle? So. Yeah. I think he did. He know. tried to, at least. He tried to get a five knuckle shuffle. That's how Roman should have beat him right there. With a five knuckle shuffle. Yeah, dude, and speared him. Like he, you know, like he like runs the ropes, and when he turns around, bam, gets gets smashed. That's a good. That had been a better finish in my opinion. That's not bad at all. It's kind of like the Rock. It makes him look stupid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it would have been just know. like the Rock, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been. That. For, that's it some been storytelling right there, boy. That's the correct finish yeah. for this match. That's how it should have ended, folks. Um, heard it here first. That being said, though, um, six out of ten. High eight. <laughs> two that's low nine. in your opinion. But oh, um, dude, you're saying that's on par with Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, which is no, a no. Okay, well, if you like, I'm saying like it's like anything at eight, like oh, that's a great match. You gave a low nine. That's two a low nine. That's a classic. A nine's a classic, bro. Yeah. A ten I mean, is a I don't fucking think this, legend. I don't think I think we'll look back on like I, this is like kind of like when Cena fought Brian or Brian fought Roman or Whoa, Brian, Brian fought AJ. Close to Brian versus Cena and SummerSlam for the. I mean that's a ten out of ten. That's crazy. a ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. And the next match. The final match. The universal title match. The the beast versus the monster among men. Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Vince McMahon's favorite match of all time is the Maybe. correct title. Braun awesome. Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. He might have, I don't know, there was a, like, there was like a, he's EC, got a show. Yeah, I thought there was an ECW battle royal between a bunch of big dudes. And that was probably, <laughs> I feel like he was back there. <laughs> Big Show was Wanking it as the ECW champion. <laughs> just getting, getting a low he off. Was yeah, there, dude, yeah. He was just he was yeah. fighting Bobby Lashley, the big <laughs> Oh yeah. The big he's dude, like, like He's the big sweaty guy. Crazy. Why is Vince McMahon having a, a feud with Bobby Lashley? No, I think look back. Uh, anyway, um Brock versus Braun. It was a horrible match. 
It was a bad match. It was. There's no excuses for this match. There's. There's none. This is like. It made no sense. Literally, comparing wrong. comparing this match with the one with Goldberg, it's like how to do this right and how to do this bad. You uh, might as well have just had Braun go out there and like. This was very him. reminiscent of like uh, Brock Undertaker, Brock, um, like other matches like this. It was like Brock versus Dean Ambrose. Like, oh, yeah. uh, here's a, a few bit. things. Brock versus CM Punk, but CM Punk actually opened up a fight compared to. Dude. Even Braun, dude. Like, how did they have a 10, ten minute match? Not even. I don't even think it was 10 minutes. Hmm. How do you have a 10 minute match and just totally blow it? Have Braun hit a few moves, hit his little falling power slam, which really doesn't look effective at all, in my opinion, compared to an F5. No, not at all. And that F5 wasn't classy. No, it was, I, I enjoyed it, the German suplexes. Braun nice. just kind of fell. Um, I do like the bit with the German suplexes. Um, other than that, though, like... There's nothing else to talk about. Because that was that short. I like Paul Heyman's reactions. He was, there was, he was more awesome. There was more hype just on the fall, the previous Raws where he would just choke slam him or something. Yeah. That made me pop more he than this entire slam. match. He hit that choke slam in this. Which I think would be a better finisher for him than... The running power yeah, slam. Yeah, bring, right make the choke slam something. Make it nasty. Yeah. You know, make it, know, it used to be like the sickest move ever, dude. Yeah, like, now, it's, now, it's, now it's just like a... Joke. It's like a one-off. I mean, it really... It's because nobody's big out there trying to throw it out of there. Big Show doesn't even use it really. And his, and his is, is awful. He always did that like... He still can't really do it. No. He's not the right size for that move. If I had to rate this match, it would be a 3 out of 10. I guess match 4 out of 10. Um, that's, that's, that's bad. You know you're fucking up. And this is the main event. When he gives you a 4 out of 10. John, John and Roman could have been the main event, and it honestly would have been better. Much better to close it out. Much better. Sent Brock home early. Um, Brock. Made Braun look like a bitch. Brock Lesnar doesn't need to hold this belt any longer. I really don't want to see him go, like, two more pay-per-views. I'd like to see him give it to, uh... Who is he going to give it to now? I'm now that he's beat it. Braun. I wish Samoa Braun Joe. was kind of the last chance. Yeah, what is Braun Samoa gonna Joe do? doesn't even What's have a Braun character yet. Now? He's just out there beating up <coughs> anybody now. Don't he's anybody. gonna fight. Um, uh, who is he gonna fight? Turkey. Oh, he's probably not gonna show up for a couple of pay-per-views. Maybe this Mistrage thing will be the main event. I mean, that's obvious. Versus a Shield, absolutely. Which I'm excited for. But I think. That about wraps it up, doesn't it? Pay-per-view. I said 4 out of 10 for No Mercy 2017. WWE, you gotta get it up. Literally like a Viagra pill because I am losing interest. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> My verdict for No Mercy 2017. Um, I'd probably give it like a strong 6 to a light 7. Um, you know, I, I like... Gracious. I like so much, I honestly was, I told you how excited I was for the pay-per-view. I actually thought the build-ups were all there, which never happens. I'm never actually excited for matches because of a build-up. Never. Never. And most of these matches, Anaya could have won, Braun could have won. Um, Neville actually did win. Uh, you know, Balor and Wyatt could have been cool. There were so many things that could have happened, and some of it did happen, and some of it fell flat, but John Roman made it, you know. John Rose Roman was. That made the it worth it, and then that Enzo made me was. I want to watch this pay per view, because yeah. I knew Brock was going to win. So that's our final thoughts on No Mercy, guys. If you would like to see more Smoke Sesh reviews, we can do other things besides wrestling, or. We can just do more wrestling if you want that. I would honestly love to make those videos. And like, comment, and subscribe, guys, to Soul Show and all of those other channels. I'm Marcus. It's been a pleasure with y'all. Thank you very much. Cause we're going up, then down. Are we around? Oh, he's going up, then down. Are we?